Now back to the more serious stuff. Uh, like I said before, we're going to continue to do another uh, silver competition. So I want you guys to subscribe. Now this is not a comment. This is a subscribe only. And the more subscribers we have, the more prizes we will be giving away. And we will be giving away all kinds of different prizes that you all will love. It will blow your mind. Okay. At less than $16 an ounce right now, silver is ridiculous, ridiculously undervalued. Those that are wise to see this and are stocking up on silver coins at an unprecedented level, just check out these numbers. Submitted by Michael Snyder. When panic and fear dominate financial markets, gold and silver both tend to rapidly rise in price. We witnessed this during the last financial crisis, and it started to happen again. I'm often asked about gold and silver when I do interviews. In fact, just a few days ago, I was sitting right next to Jim Rickards during the taping of a television show when this topic came up. Jim expressed his belief that investing in gold is superior to investing in silver, but I had the exact opposite viewpoint. In this article, I would like to elaborate on why I believe that silver represents a historic investment opportunity right now. I should start out by disclosing that my wife and I have been able to put, put away a little bit of silver over the years. I wish it could have been a lot more, but so often there are other priorities that need to be addressed. For example, I've always said that people need to take care of their emergency food storage first before even thinking about any kind of investments. But if you have money left over after taking care of the basics, I'm fully convinced that silver is wonderful investment for the mid to long term. In this article, I'm going to explain why this is the case. However, I've always warned that you you have got to be ready for the roller coaster ride if you get into precious metals. So if you can't handle the ups and downs, you should probably avoid them altogether. As I write this article, the price of gold is sitting at $1,254.30 an ounce. Meanwhile, the price of silver is sitting at $15.81 an ounce. That means that the price of gold is currently more than 79 times higher than the price of silver. For that ratio between gold and silver to be this high is truly unusual. You see, the truth is that there is only about 17 times as much silver as there is to gold in the Earth's crust. And currently, silver is being mined about an, at about an 11 to 1 ratio to gold. So it takes sense it makes sense that throughout history gold has typically sold about 15 to 1 ratio to silver. During the past during the past years, I do believe that gold will multiply in price. I'm sorry, during the years to come, I do believe that gold will multiply in price. I'm sorry, rented lips. I haven't read anything today, so I'm a little rusty. But I'm also convinced that the price of silver will go up much, much faster. As they both skyrocket in price from the price ratio between gold and silver, they will shift very quickly from 79 to 1 in the direction of 15 to 1. Perhaps we may never even get all the way back to 15 to 1, but if we got to 40 to 1 or 30 to 1, what would that mean for silver would be history making. Let us keep in mind that unlike gold, silver is consistently being used in thousands of different industrial applications. This comes from Jeff Nielsen. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Over the past quarter century, more silver-based patents have been created with any other metal on the planet. But not only does silver have unparalleled versatility, it is an extremely potent metal, meaning many of its commercial applications it is used in only trace amounts. Why is this of significance? Because in such tiny quantities, it is economically impractical to ever try to recycle any of this silver at prices anywhere near the observed levels of recent decades. Thus, this silver is being consumed in tiny amounts, but in billions and billions of consumer products over a span of decades. Unlike gold, our stockpiles of silver are disappearing. As previously mentioned, for at least the last 30 years, the only way that our strong demand for silver could be satisfied has been through consuming portions of these stockpiles. It has been estimated that approximately 1 billion ounces of silver have been used in consumer products over the past 10 years alone. Even if the world could somehow avoid the great financial turmoil that has already begun, the truth is that eventually a great demand for crunch for silver would just would come just based on how much of it we are steadily consuming. At least $16 an ounce right now, silver is ridiculously undervalued. Those are just those that are wise see this, and they are stocking up on silver coins at an unprecedented level. Just check out these numbers. Silver Eagle sales will likely jump by 25% in the first quarter due to deteriorating market conditions during the first three months of the last year. The U.S. Mint sold 12 million Silver Eagles. Already, sales of Silver Eagles have reached 13 million. There are two weeks remaining in March, and the U.S. Mint will likely sell another 2 million. This will put total Silver Eagle sales for the first quarter at 15 million, the highest ever. I have always said that I believe that the price of silver will eventually go over $100 an ounce. When that happens, when that happens, those that got in today will be exceedingly happy with their returns. Others are projecting even greater gains. For instance, investing legend Egon von Greyers believes that the price of silver could ultimately go as high as $660 an ounce. And Jeff Nielsen believes that a thousand ounce for silver would be a fair price. But once again, don't even think about getting into precious metals until you have the basics squared away. It's often said that you can't eat gold or silver, and that's very true. In our new television show, my wife and I are always going to tell it to you straight. A lot of people out there are relaxing right now because they think that they are they think that the recent stock market rally means that the crisis is over. What they don't understand is that this new financial crisis is just the very in the very early chapters. There are going to be more ups and downs, and the shaking that we have seen so far is just the beginning. Many of you may not want to believe me at the moment, but by the end of 2016, life in America is going to look dramatically different than it does right now. So please get prepared while you are still able to do so. And I echo that fact. Food, guns, precious metals. Take care, guys. Keep stacking.